Picture this hilarious scene. Soldier Hash 15, all confident and brimming with authority, struts into Pan's innocent little preschool, only to be instantaneously floored by the pint-sized powerhouse. I mean, seriously, did he even stand a chance? Pan's like a mini ninja on a sugar rush. She effortlessly recognizes Piccolo, probably because he emits some funky energy vibes or something. So Piccolo, playing the cool escort, scoops up Pan and carries the unconscious Hash 15 back to the Red Ribbon aircraft, all while attracting unwanted attention from a no-nonsense police officer who's not amused by his illegal parking skills. Uh-oh. On the aircraft, in the midst of the chaos, Piccolo spills the beans to Pan about his grandmaster plan. Cue the evil laugh. Together they make their way to the Red Ribbon headquarters, where Pan puts on her award-winning performance, pretending to be a damsel in distress in a recorded message that's specially crafted to reel in Gohan. Talk about a convincing act. Gohan, the unflappable hero, remains totally chill even when Hash-15 tries his luck, pointing a gun at him. But hold up. When Hash-15 pulls out that footage of Pan, Gohan's reaction is priceless. He shoots out of the window like a rocket, transforming into Super Saiyan mode and causing such a monstrous explosion that his house decides to do a spontaneous tango with gravity. Oops! Now that's what you call a power move, quite literally. In a panic, Hash-15 suddenly realizes the gravity of the situation, pun intended, and starts apologizing like there's no tomorrow. He even politely asks Gohan to come along, reassuring him that Pan is perfectly fine. I mean, who wouldn't be polite after witnessing Gohan reduce his own house to rubble? Finally, Gohan arrives at the Red Ribbon headquarters, and boy does he make an entrance. He charges toward Pan, who's waiting like a boss on top of a tower, surrounded by a sea of soldiers, higher-ups, and those quirky Gammas. But oh no. Gohan's mojo gets interrupted when Gamma 2 decides to show off his moves, giving Gohan a solid kick in the rear. Talk about a rude awakening, but fear not. Gamma 1 jumps in, ready to rumble with Gohan. The two go at it, but here's the twist. Gohan, despite going all Super Saiyan and everything, finds himself struggling to keep up. Seriously, dude, what happened to your Saiyan mojo? Just when things seem dire, Piccolo and Pan whip out their little theatrical act. Piccolo, the great pretender, takes on the role of a tough soldier, grabbing Pan by the collar and dishing out empty threats. But hold your laughter. The Gammas, bless their loyal hearts, are not having any of it. They protest and give Piccolo a surprise of his own. Oops, didn't see that coming, did you? But hey, here's the silver lining. Piccolo's failed act triggers something extraordinary in Gohan. That's right, folks. He achieves his potential unleashed state once again. It's like a power-up on steroids. Now let the epic showdown continue, with Gohan ready to unleash some serious Saiyan whoop-ass.